चैनल सो टुडे वी विल बी सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 ऑफ लीड कोड दैट इज रिमूव एंड नोट फ्रॉम द एंड ऑफ द लिस्ट द क्वेश्चन इज सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी एज वी कैन सी दैट वी हैव टू गेट टू द एंड ऑफ द लिस्ट एंड देन फ्रॉम देयर वी हैव टू काउंट एन टाइम्स एंड डिलीट द नोट दैट वी गेट सो इन दिस केस वी हैव वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एज द नोट्स सो द लिस्ट गोज लाइक दिस वन टू टू एंड देन थ्री फोर फाइव सिंस फाइव इज द एंड ऑफ द लिंक लिस्ट वी नाउ हैव टू काउंट एन टाइम्स बैकवर्ड्स सो हेयर दे हैव गिवन द एन एस टू सो वी विल काउंट टू टाइम्स फ्रॉम फाइव एंड दैट इज फोर लाइक लेट से दिस नोट इज वन देन दिस इज टू द सेकेंड द सेकेंड फ्रॉम द एंड so that's how uh, we will we have to find the node that has to be deleted and after deletion uh, it will look like this like uh, what we uh, are going to do is that the one we have to delete um the one which is previous to the one we have to delete have uh, should have set its next parameter to the next of the one which is getting deleted so in this case since 4 is getting deleted the next of 3 will point to 5 instead of 4 so that's how the link uh, actually gets deleted we don't have to uh, manually remove this or free up the space we just have to go and Uh, update the next parameter of the next attribute of the node that is previous to the one we want to delete so in this case um, the next node of tree will be 5 so let's see uh, if we can code it up before jumping to the coding part we have to think where the problem is in our case the problem is that we don't know the length of the linked list we don't know which node is it until and unless uh, we hit the end so uh, if we are traversing in a normal way that uh, starts from, uh, that we start from the head and then go to the tail or the end part we have to wait till the travel traversal finishes in order to know which node was it and we have we somehow have to keep a track of like uh, like index those nodes because uh, there is no uh, direct way to do that in the normal classes or uh, we generally don't define a way so basically a linked list is like a continuous list so you know uh, we don't generally keep indices and we just can't uh, get back right away but we can if we make a hash map we can make use of a hash map and then we can directly get that to the that node we want to delete without um, uh, traversing for another time so let's see how we can do that so i'll create a hash map and obviously the key will be integer so we will be accessing the nodes through the index indices or the index uh, then our value will be list node i'll call it um node has map yeah it's fine now we need to monitor the index so initially the index is zero as we traverse we will uh, increment it also we will need a variable to keep to keep the track of the current node that we are uh, looking at so list node current equal to head for now and uh, while current is not equal to null we just have to traverse through so what uh, we have to do here is that we are filling the map the hash map so node hash map dot put and the index is index the key is index and the value is current 
now we have to implement the index obviously and uh, also the uh, current point or you can say the current variable object so this will be current dot next now, uh, how will we know that uh, which node we have to delete since we have indexed our nodes uh, as starting from zero uh, and onwards um, the node that has to be deleted node to be deleted will be node has not dot get uh, we know the length okay uh, so now note the length this index after this loop finishes will be our length so that minus n how many times n is what how many times you have to come backwards so we subtract it from the index that is uh, the length once this loop finishes so we get the node to be deleted now we have to check if uh, there is a node behind it i mean uh, previous to it so how will we check it we have we will check it by uh, looking the hash map once again if it contains the key index minus n minus 1 so index minus 1 was referring to the node that we wanted to delete and uh, index minus 1 i mean index minus n minus 1 will refer to the node previous to it if it exists so node has not dot contains key this will uh, let us know if there is a previous node so we can create the statements like this if else so if there's no previous element it means that the node we want to delete is none other than the head itself so now we have to assign the new head as head equal to um, node we wanted to delete dot next as simple as that otherwise if there is a, a previous node existing we have to get that and proceed to update the next attribute to the next of the um, node we want to delete so we are disconnecting we are not disconnecting like uh, we are creating a new connection uh, from the previous node to the new node so the node getting deleted is will not be getting referenced uh, anymore by the node previous to it so node to be deleted dot next that is it now we simply have to return the head and this should work let's see i'll just copy it paste it here in the file see if it works let me put this here so it uh, passes the normal test cases now if i submit it as you can see yeah it clears all the test cases so this works thank you for watching i hope you will like it